right, guys, so here's our next example. They want us to find the standard form of a parabola. So here they give us an equation of a parabola in its general form. They want us to go ahead and write this in its standard form. Okay, and we know that this is going to be a parabola because if we look at our variables here, um, in this case it's x and y, right? Only one of them is squared. Okay, so in this case we're dealing with a parabola. All right, so let's talk about how we're gonna set this up. So what you wanna do here is you wanna keep your x variables together here, right? Everything else we're gonna move over to the right. So in this case, we're gonna have x squared minus 12x, right? And we're moving everything else over to the right. So we're gonna have 16y minus 36, okay? Now, our next step here may not be as obvious, or maybe it is, but we have to go back to something we learned in the past, and that is completing the square, right? Essentially, what we wanna do is factor this side on the left, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to complete the square. And if you forgot the formula for completing the square, it's gonna be x squared plus bx, right? And we're simply just gonna do plus, right, b over two squared, right? Now, remember when you're completing the square to make sure what you do to one side, you also do to the other. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this out. So we'll have the following, we'll have x squared minus 12x, right? Plus, in this case, we have b over two. In this case, it's gonna be 12 over two squared equal to 16y, right? Minus 36. And again, what we do to one side, we also have to do to the other. So since I did plus 12 over two squared, I also have to do it over here, plus 12 over two squared, right? Remember, we have to do that in order to balance the equation, right? What we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So let's go a little bit further. We're gonna get x squared minus 12x. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. 12 divided by two is going to be six. Six squared is 36, right? Equal to 16y minus 36. Again, it's gonna be plus 36. So this works out pretty nice, all right? Negative 36 and positive 36, that cancels. This right here, we can actually factor. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So this is gonna be x, right, minus six squared equal to 16y, okay? So let's go ahead and just finish up this problem, all right? Go ahead and write it over here. I'll have x minus six squared, right, equal to 16y. Last step, to both sides by 16. Right? And you get the following. You're gonna get y equals one over 16, right, times x minus six squared, okay? This right here will be our final equation of our parabola in standard form. And again, we know a few things about this. We know that it's going to be opening upward, right? It's opening upward. And we also know it's going to have a vertical axis of symmetry, right? Okay, and this problem is now complete.